I'm here in Southern California at the Vision Miner headquarters, and we're here to talk about nanopolymer. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge Attack. What's up, everybody? I'm with Rob. He's the COO of Vision Miner, and they make some awesome stuff called nanopolymer. Rob, how you doing? Great. Great to have you here, Jim. It's been a heck <laughs> of a day. It is, it's been an awesome day, man. I really appreciate you guys having me out. And you know, one of the things that you guys do is you make a really awesome bed adhesive. And we met in 2019. Yep. It was at a Walmart at Goshen, Indiana at like 10 or 10.30 at night. Yep. Um, he's like, you here for the 3D printing thing? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you handed me a couple samples. Um, can you tell me like, where did this come from and what, what is it? What does it do? So back in 2017, 18, 19, around then, we were printing high temp materials like Peak and Ultim. And we were having a heck of a time using glue stick on frosted glass and just getting like maybe 50% yield rates if we were lucky. Meaning most of the parts would just peel and warp up because the warping is 10 to 100 times more than nylon or polycarbonate even. Wow. So we needed a solution because it was messy and it was time consuming and it barely worked. And so Pat came in one day, saw me covered in glue dust and was like, uh, what are you doing? And it was basically, long story short, it was like, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna find the best adhesive scientist in the world and we're gonna make the best adhesive for build plates anyone has ever seen. I was like, all right, man. <laughs> and it's been strangely magical, actually. Uh, <laughs> yeah. You know, peak and ultimate, it worked great. Um, within a few weeks, we had a working formula, nice. uh, but maybe it was breaking glass too much, so we dialed it in for about nine months before we actually released it. And during that time, wow. we discovered that it worked on our Ultimaker 2 and mm -hmm. on PLA, on PETG, on TPU, on ASA, on ABS, on literally just about everything, which was totally unexpected. Sure. So we're like, all right, we need this, our customers need this, let's release it as a thing. And so I was at Murph uh, yeah. and actually, you know, evangelizing on, hey, check out, try this new glue, try <laughs> yeah. this new thing we've got. It's really <laughs> awesome. And uh, yeah, I ran into you and the rest is history. Yeah, the rest is history, <laughs> yeah. And I mean, it's it's such good stuff. I, I love the stuff. And like you said, it kind of works for everything. What What's crazy to me is that something I can use on PLA or PTG, even nylon, like on one of my bamboo printers, right? Mm -hmm. I can use that on one of your machines That'll do 500C at the nozzle and, and yeah. 200C on the bed or yeah. whatever and, and print some crazy filament and it's all the same stuff. Right. And you guys make this in-house, right? We do. 100% oh. made in USA by Americans. Yep. Wow. That's awesome. And you manufacture it here uh, in the building. In the lab. Secret, in the secret lab. In the we, lab. We, we can't yeah. show the process because, well, then everybody would make their own vision miner, right? But but maybe um, a shot of lab, we'll see. We'll talk yeah. about that. But uh, how do you use it? That's like an important thing. So if I'm brand new, maybe I get on your website and I order a sample or I order one of the small bottles yep. to start with because this is what, 20 bucks, 19? 20 bucks. Yeah. You, using the uh, discount code, of course, Edge of Tech, your fans, 10% off, and then nice. you get a 10% commission to help support the channel. Sure, so. and I'll put that in the link. Uh, maybe I'll put a link and the code downstairs just to make sure that you guys know the right code because we'll dial that in because yeah. this is a surprise. This is brand new to me. Yeah. But so so I get this. I get a bottle of it. What do I do? I mean, what's in your packaging? That kind of thing. Yeah. So essentially, no matter what you're printing, uh, you know, on different types of bill plates, we've got here a huge selection yeah. uh, from the, where'd that PEI plate go? PEI, we've got the cool <laughs> plates, we've yeah. got the PEO and PE, or PEY plates with the cool textures. With the textures, yeah. Carbon fiber, glass. We even got like the Ender 3 flexible build plate, you know, magnet thing. That, that's how I started right there. The yep. Ender 3, and yep. um, it, we all know if you had an Ender 3, it stuff maybe stuck and maybe it didn't. After I got this, it did. Yeah. <laughs> so. yeah. And that's the cool thing. So it activates over 50 to 60 Celsius. So you just yeah. need a heated bed. Okay. Uh, if you don't have a heated bed, it may not really work. Uh, but as long as you've got a heated bed and just about any material, the only material it doesn't really work on is polypropylene, which doesn't really stick to anything. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and yeah, so basically what I do, uh, when you open the bag, you do 50. So this is the 50 milliliter bottle, again, 19 bucks, but you get that discount. And uh, there's also the 120 milliliter bottle for 45 yeah. right now, yeah. I believe. Yeah, the big boy. And you basically get the bottle out, and then inside you do have a couple little instruction sheets and some, some coupons and some other stuff that changes. Sure. So you got a couple of those. Oh, nice. 
Ten percent off, huh? Huh? Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> and then those new bags are gonna be great. They're much larger, <laughs> much larger opening. No, and good. the safety seat. So. Uh, you do get the referrals. Thank you for your business. Hey, if you like it, you know, leave us a review. If you don't do like it. it, hit us up. Let us know. We're here to fix it. Uh, if we did make a mistake of any kind, we're here to make sure you have success with it. So you get a brush with it. You get a brush with it. All right. And then basically, we'll use this plate as an example. Sure. Say you're gonna print a big batch over the whole plate. What you could do, you could save it and be like, I know I'm only using this small area, so I'm just gonna coat that area, but. You might as well, especially if you're printing like PLA or PETG um, materials like that on the lower end, just coat the whole bed. Sure. And the craziest thing about this on glass, I personally did over 45 prints in PETG of the oh, wow. same part over wow. and over and over and over. That's and over. awesome. And it would just, you let it cool down, it pops itself off. Mm -hmm. And uh, sometimes you hear it in the background and yeah. you're like, oh, that's <laughs> done. All right. I guess it's done. Um, and you can use it over and over uh, <laughs> on certain. PEI plates here, I code it once a month and I just oh, wow. I just keep printing in PLA. Gee, I'm doing it wrong. I've been doing like 10 parts and I'm like, oh, a little touch up, yeah. you know? And then like maybe another 10 parts and then I like clean the whole thing off. Mm -hmm. But but now I'm gonna stretch it. I'm gonna push yeah. it. You know, Rob says 40 prints guaranteed. Yeah. No, I'm just joking. Oh, <laughs> well, we have one guy, he's gonna do a live stream. Is it loyal? Loyal's thing about doing a, a Loyal Moses. He's gonna yeah. do a live stream where he just keeps printing the same part over and over until, until it fails. Until it stops stick. So yeah, we'll see. that would we'll be cool. See. That'd be cool. Uh, we'll find the limits. So basically, just open it up. Uh, if it has been sitting outside in the cold, like you get it during the winter and it was sitting in a UPS box on your porch, uh, you might need to warm it up in the microwave or something. It can settle. So just make sure you give it a good shake. Okay. That's it. And then what I like to do is, no matter how big the build plate, sure. I like to sort of draw a circle. Some, okay. people, some people like to do dribbles, and then I just sure. do like an X in the middle. An X in the middle, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Maybe I'll add a little bit of this. It's a big build plate, uh, so I'll just <laughs> We're playing tic-tac-toe over here. Right? Okay. And then it's made from isopropyl alcohol, so it will evaporate quickly if it's really hot, but you got a couple minutes in normal temperature, and I'm, oh, wow. I just like doing circles like this, because I know I'm coding and all. Yeah. We've got a how-to video where you do a cross-hatch pattern, which is theoretically, technically, the best way to get complete coverage, but I've found that I circles just, is I just, okay. Yeah, this works great. Nice. Then you, you, oh, you know, it's getting dry. Let me and you can really, yeah, there. you can really see a coating on there, which is really cool. Right. And, and I see that on the bed, so I, I use it uh, everything from my enders that I had, that, that, that my bamboo plates. You can see it. So when you're putting it on, you'll be able to see it actually coating. Yeah, and maybe I'll add a little bit extra there just to make sure I get full coverage yeah. and I'll go edge And you don't edge. need like a crazy thick coat, right? No, you no. actually uh, very thin. Uh, and you can see it's already starting yeah. to dry and that's perfectly fine. So all this there, if I want, just in case I'm printing yeah. to the very edge, you can yeah, get it, everything. I always notice if you're using a bamboo build plate, don't forget to get where yes. that purge line is in the back. And yep. if you do the, the t uh, pattern on the front, exactly. those are like my my you know big areas. But don't forget those. Yeah. Oh, and, if you, and if you just do one thick coating, you know, and then you let it sit for a while, you keep mm. printing, 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 and then you know, a few weeks or a month or whatever, wash it off, get it nice and clean, apply a new coating. And, and washing it off, is it just like a, maybe a little bit of dish soap and some hot water? And just... Literally, hot water, and if you need extra, throw some dish soap in there. Cool. Uh, and so then... just like washing a build plate should be. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. And before awesome. applying, I like to just extra clean it with a little bit of IPA or something. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to, you can just dry clean plate, you're good to go. Nice. And. Uh, uh, yeah, coat it on there. It'll dry within a few minutes. Now, yeah. I, I could just throw this onto a hot build plate and that would finish the evaporation yeah. quick. You don't have to wait for it to dry or anything. Uh, and now there will be this coating. Now, it's nanopolymer adhesive, right? So there are very, very specific molecular weights of very specific polymers, a very, very interesting combination of those. <laughs> so what happens is over 50 or 60 Celsius, it creates a molecular bond between the polymer and the carbon content of the plate. So the carbon oh. molecules in the plate. Now, that's an interesting point, the carbon, right? So certain grades of aluminum, raw aluminum, you can actually print on. Um, a lot of grades, most spring steel plates that have stickers on them. Sure. Um, a lot of times if you're printing an engineering material, the Polymer will actually peel the sticker, the sticker off. off. Yeah. So you can just flip that steel over and print directly on the steel with oh. this stuff. A lot of people love doing that. 
Um, you know, we that's got, a great idea. We got PEO plates, PEY yeah. with the textures. It comes through. You still get that beautiful carbon fiber right. or stars or multicolor textures. And, so uh, it does work. So I saw yes. you guys did a video on we did. that. Yep. So you can use it on, I don't know how much this will be reflective, but on the, the patterned um, build plates it, and you use your nanopolymer on there, you'll still get the pattern on yep. there with no crazy interference yeah. or anything like that. It, it's so thin yeah. that whatever texture, if you're printing on a textured plate, you're printing on frosted glass, yeah. smooth glass, carbon fiber, whatever that plate is, it's going to get that texture out of there because nice. it's so micro thin. Awesome. And, and that being said, it's also completely non-toxic. You could, well, uh, you know, you don't want to have... <laughs> don't drink it's, it. It's based in alcohol. You don't, you know, it's not the greatest, but the polymers and whatnot are completely non-toxic. Okay. And, so uh, if you can get it on your hands, just wash your hands. Totally or, safe. Yep. You know, don't don't drink it. That you know, yeah. this is. I don't care if it's non-toxic or not. Don't drink it. Yeah. It's not drinks. It's glue. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's glue. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you don't want a nanopolymer inside. Yeah. that would be bad. The guys over at Titan yeah. Robotics like to call it the pink drink, but yeah. uh, that's because it keeps all their <laughs> massive multimeter wide prints down. Right. Those are really huge, large volume wow. printers. Um, we've had a lot of success. They swear yeah. by it. A lot of them actually get, end up getting like one liter bottles just so they can coat really? their whole plate and do massive polycarbonate prints or even yes. massive Ultim prints. That's awesome. So yeah. I have that, that Orange Storm Giga by Elgu. It's 800 by 800 by 1,000. Whew. And it's four of these massive like 425 millimeter, don't quote me on that, build plates that are like together. Wow. And um, I, I might need to take some home because I'm literally like, that. that's the reason why most of the stuff sticks to that thing <laughs> because, uh, well, that's a different video. But I love the stuff, especially for that. Um, and the thing is, like you said, you don't need a ton. So even if it's a, like this is a, what, a 350 yep. uh, millimeter build plate, yeah. um, you know, you're not using a ton of your bottle on this. Right. That bottle lasts a long time. Yeah, so. I, I believe the actual... Uh, dimensions are 375 by 375. Oh, okay. So the, the machine prints usually have a little bit on the edge, sure. right, where the machine's not yeah, yeah. printing. So this is a huge plate. We did a, we did a calculation once. I think it was like on a 10 by 10 build plate, you could sure. get like 350 coatings out of a 120 nice. ball. So, awesome. you know, for most people, so, if, if it lasts you a week, that's going to last yeah. you five years. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is know? true, especially if I can uh, do like 30, 40 prints. Yeah. You know, right. obviously, if it starts that sticking, you can touch it up in the spots yeah, if you need to. Exactly. Um, I know some people will take like a light wipe of IPA yep. and kind of like whoosh, and, and keep printing. Yep. So, um, so you know, one final question: uh, What is your number one reason? Why would you tell somebody to use this? Like, if it was like one thing, you got your ten second elevator pitch, right? Why nano? If you've ever had a part not stick to the bed or curl up at the edges. Mm -hmm. and you want to never experience that again, you just want it to be perfectly flat, fully stuck to your bed, this is what you need. Awesome. Any material, any plate, it's wild. That's awesome. I, and I can attest, like I said, 2019, uh, brand new to 3D printing, met Rob, and I've been using it literally every every printer since. I've never not used it. It's freaking awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. I, I, I take it back. When I got my bamboo, they had a glue stick included. They told me to use it. I did. Twice rinsed it, washed it, and then I never look back. I just throw nano on it. Ah. Um, I, my wife runs, um, she's doing miniature stuff. You could probably Ooh. see that on her Instagram. Uh, I'll throw the link in the description below if you want to check it out. But she is literally making like one twelfth scale, like those Stanley mugs, right? Oh, like no the, way. But then, not only that, but she makes the straws to go inside of them and prints like 15 or 20 of them on a plate and you can imagine a one twelfth scale straw, ten or probably Take ten. To, we'll say ten to twenty. That's smaller than a toothpick. Smaller than that. Oh. And they all stand because oh. of the nano, dude. So, yeah. yes, there's a brim, a small brim, mm -hmm. but that is such a tiny, tiny print to get done. And all of the miniature stuff that she's doing with like a 0.2 nozzle, yeah. I can't even believe some of the stuff she's getting out there. So this stuff, awesome, it works. You can get it on your website, yep. visionminer.com. Slash adhesive. Slash adhesive, yep. there you go. Yep. Um, I They said there would be a code down in the description. I'll put it in there. We'll, we'll work it out when we're done what that actual code will be, probably like T-E-O-T. T-E-O-T. Does that sound good? T-E-O-T, sure. the edge of tech. Um, if you want to test one of these, they do have samples, they're like five bucks. Otherwise, if you want to dive in, the little ones are like 20. And yeah. Also, if you like it, 
Let me know in the comments. I, we'd be interested in to see that if you guys yeah. use it. And if you haven't used it or you want to, or maybe you tried it and you didn't like it, let me know in the comments too, because I'm always curious about the stuff that we show. I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be showing this if I didn't use this myself. So that's that's kind of the big thing here. And, and now I got to see how it was made, which is even cooler. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. awesome. Well, thanks, Rob. I really appreciate you talking about Nano and showing us a demonstration. That's completely dry and ready to go. It's ready now. to go. I mean, it was yep. within like a minute or two tops, right? So if you want to check out the next cool Vision Miner video that I put out, check out this video right here. Rob, see you. Thanks, man. <laughs> Have a good one. Great to see you. <laughs>